Happy Thursday, everyone. Meteorologist Kenny Mitley here with your Thursday evening one-minute forecast. Current storm team radar, pretty plain here for us overall. Just some light clouds trying to work their way in towards Minot down into that southwestern corner, but looking pretty good as far as rain chances go. Really, the next best chance of rain isn't until we get into Sunday night and into Monday, so should be a gorgeous end of the week and upcoming weekends here for us. Looking at our current temperatures, most of us still sitting in those upper 60s, even seeing a 70 here or there, 71 in Mohal, Newburgh as well, 70 still in the capital city, Garrison getting on the action. Probably going to be seeing this pattern recurring over the next few days as well. Still seeing a bit of a breeze, particularly up towards the north, the occasional wind gusts of 25 miles per hour or so, and that'll probably linger into tomorrow morning, but overall winds really shouldn't be too much of a factor until we get really into next week, so it should be good to go overall for the weekend. Overnight lows tonight, staying pretty mild there for us, upper 40s for a lot of us, low 40s back towards the west, but well above that freezing mark. Looking ahead to tomorrow, going to be fairly similar to today, lots of low 70s on the board, may even get a few degrees degrees warmer in our central locations. Saturday is the big day though, probably going to be seeing some low 80s in our central locations. We have an 80 for Williston and Sydney as well. Wouldn't be surprised again if Minot, Garrison, Bismarck, Flasher perhaps get it to about 81, 82 degrees or so. Looking ahead to Sunday, the, the, the gifts just keep on giving here, staying in those low to mid 70s and may see a little bit of a cool off during the middle stages of next week, perhaps mid 60s. But overall, can't really complain. A nice, dry, calm, and sunny weekend here for us with temperatures sitting in those 70s and 80s. So I'll have more details on what to expect next week coming up on KX News at 9 and at 10.